This is our church's kitchen, a space few church members visit. Why am I here for this week's preview? On Monday, we honored a group in our church that does much good in this place, our fellowship committee, even though they are rarely seen doing it. This space and their work reminds me of this week's lesson. We turn from the stories and words of blessing Mary might have shared with Jesus to a familiar Advent character, John the Baptizer. This wilderness prophet is preaching the coming judgment of God and warning the people, therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance. The crowds, the tax collectors and soldiers all ask him, what should we do? His answer to each group is slightly different, but ultimately the same. Do the good that is yours to do. We can each bear good fruit through acts of justice and righteousness. We can all be what Isaiah calls repairers of the breach by satisfying the needs of the afflicted. Sometimes we think Christmas is about the decorations and candles, the family gatherings and worship services, and it is. But it's also about simple, sometimes easy, sometimes costly decisions in our daily lives. I'm reminded of the lyrics of a carol made famous by Amy Grant. You don't have to be an angel to sing harmony. You don't have to be a child to love the mystery. And you don't have to be a wise man on bended knee. The heart of this Christmas is in you and me. Do the good that is yours to do. We hope you will join us at worship this Sunday at Hope United Methodist Church, 10 a.m., online or in person, where hope changes lives. <laughs>